Hi, my name is Mr. Hendrickson. This is the Glumbard West Chemistry and Physics Web Assign Login Tutorial. I'm just going to quickly walk you through how to log into your Web Assign account and quickly point out a couple of key features that you want to become acclimated to um, as quickly as possible. So right off the bat here, I'm going to direct your attention to the right-hand side of the website here where it says Account Login. Uh, by the way, we are on WebAssign.net. Pretty simple. So once you get there, this uh, account login is going to ask you for your username, your institution, and your password. Um, your username is just going to be uh, your ID number. Okay, so whatever that is for Glumbard West, you'll just enter that right in there. Your institution will be glumbardwest.il. And your password is going to depend on what course you're taking. If you're taking physics, your password will be your ID number again. If you're taking chemistry, then your password will be Glenbard, all lowercase. Once you log in, um, you will automatically be enrolled in your teacher's section. So if you have Hendrickson, you'll be in my chemistry or physics classes. If you're taking Zarzak's classes, you'll be in one of his physics courses, so on and so forth. So there's not a lot to do there. So once you're in, this is what you're going to see. In this page, it says, uh, according to our records, you have not yet redeemed an access code for this class or purchased, purchased access online. Now, part of your um, uh, materials you needed for this course was a web assigned access card. In that card, once you open it, there is a spot that has um, a code made of numerals um, and, uh, you know, the alphabet that you'll go ahead and enter. So if you have that code already, when you are logging in, you'll want to go ahead and select Enter an Access Code. That access code will have a prefix, so when you'll select this tab here, you'll find the correct prefix. There's quite a few of them. Once you pick one, you'll see a number of boxes come, come up. When those boxes come up, you'll want to go ahead and enter your code there, and then you'll click Continue. Once you click Continue, you're good to go. Now, if you do not have an access code, this will remain open for two weeks, and you'll be able to use your homework uh, with no problems. But after the two weeks, you will be locked out until you get an access code, or your other option is to purchase access online. To do that, you'll go ahead and enter a credit card number and other uh, bits of information, and then you'll be uh, allowed full access. Okay, so... Once you're in, whether you've used a card or a credit card, uh, you'll go ahead and you'll see this information here. So across the top, uh, I want you to notice what you have. You've got home, my assignments, grades, communication, and calendar. Um, some big ones that you want to pay attention to are communication. So let's go ahead and click that. When you go into communication, you will see there are a number of class forums. So in physics, for example, there are two class forums, homework, help, and student dis discussion. Once you go into these, you'll see there are uh, posts that you can read and respond to. Um, so homework, help would be a forum where you can post questions about a particular problem and hopefully receive uh, some feedback and help from your classmates or teachers. Other options you have across the top uh, are notifications. Notifications if you select it, will allow you to receive notifications that you have a homework assignment due sent to an email address of your choice. So if you look, you can select uh, you know, a reminder 6 up to 48 hours before when a due date changes, when an assignment is posted, so on and so forth. Uh, and then, of course, in this tab here, you can enter your email address. Uh, you can also, and you're going to want to do this right away, go to My Options, again in the upper right-hand corner up here. In My Options, uh, you can see your login information, but you will want to change your password because, of course, your ID number or lowercase Glenbard is very generic, and you don't want um, anybody else able to hack into your account. So you'll definitely want to change that right away. Um, make sure you do that the first time you log in. Now, once you're actually at your home here and you're in your class, let's just pick a random class here, Zarzak period four. Let's see here. Once you're in, you'll see a list of assignments. These are uh, your homework assignments. You'll notice the name of the assignments in the left-hand column and the due date on the right-hand side. 
Uh, also on this home page, if your uh, instructor has put up any uh, announcements or anything of that sort, you can go ahead and you can uh, read those up here. Uh, if there's a calendar for your course, you can look at that. And any extra class information is also on this home page. Um, I think that about does it for now. If you do have questions, please make sure you ask your instructor for uh, help uh, because they should be able to uh, guide you towards the answers you're looking for. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope this was helpful.